Hi, this is Joseph Arthur. Thanks for checking out Come to Where I'm From. Please support us on Patreon, patreon.com slash come to where I'm from. We are an independent podcast, and any contributions you can make are greatly appreciated. We're going to talk about it. Did you like it? Well, we're going to talk about it. Okay. <laughs> Not re- I'm guessing you... I, I, yeah, you don't want to... No, no, I'm just saying that you need to know where, 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 where are you going. Were you there yesterday right. opening up for the zombies? <laughs> No, no, it was, no her own it was show? probably her own show. No, no, it was yeah, it was our own show. But 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 it's it's all a matter of expectations and the 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 yeah expectations, because we're 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 playing with full band. Mm. So uh, so the place was, was yeah. We saw you. We we came to the Rough Trade show. Oh really? Yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah! What? It was killer. Really? Yeah, you guys are great. Thank you. Yeah, I like your uh, husband too. Yeah, I can I can see why you hooked up with him. Yeah, he's cool. I, I like his beard. He's got yeah, a fantastic yeah. beard. Yes. And, uh, yeah, he's, he's got a cool. great name. Joseph. Well, that's my name course, too. It's course. like what a name. <laughs> what a name this guy has. No, but uh, and your whole band is really good. But he seems to be the musical the mu- director. Yeah, you he's called him MD. the musical yeah, 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 director. Yeah. yeah, he is. Great guitar player. And I liked what he was playing on Paste with the bass thing. That yeah. was rad. Yeah. He's he's really special, Joseph. Mm-hmm. Um, but, but you know, the band is like I'm so happy I have this band because yeah. they're so great. They're great. You saw them, so you know what I'm talking Everybody, about. Everybody, there's no weak no weak link. I'm so happy. Yeah, you should be. Thank You're great you. too. It's it it's top down. It makes sense. <laughs> You know, it yeah. all goes. Thank you so much. I'm yeah. going to tell them you said that. They're yeah, going to be please very do. happy. Yeah, good. Well, Thank you. yeah, no, and it's uh I like what y'all are doing. It's it's like it's a lane that nobody really is occupying specifically. So, really? I think so. I mean, it harkens to Buckley and yeah. Radiohead and good yeah. things that I and PJ Harvey and yes. amazing things like this, but it's like specific to you guys are in your own lane of that that no one else is messing with i don't think or that i haven't heard that's know? that's a good thing i think mm-hmm. uh, i mean we're trying to because you know we meet a lot of people and like a lot of like industry people and 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 people that say that we should do something like it's really something good else. yeah so, something You're really great do something else now yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's, that's what Ehud always shit. says to me yeah. <laughs> oh really yeah he no tells it like not it really is. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know you do so many things as is anyway I don't yeah. know how do what, what are they else saying? you can do to reinvent yourself at this well, point. what do they say to well, you I'm tr- I mean I mean it depends on the, the people and of course their influences and but you know we we because it's not mainstream okay it's right. this, you said something something similar uh earlier but we are trying to to do our shit and just trying to to make the music that we love but you know there are people that said um yeah, you should do this and you should do this because uh, if you want to get to the to the mainstream, if you want to get if you want to be on the radio, so you mm-hmm. need to change your and I'm like, dude, I, you don't get it. Well, it's I can like, see the temptation, though. Like, right now, I have your song, Self-Destructive Mind. Yeah. In my head, the hook of Really? It. And it didn't occur to me while I was listening to it, but while you're talking right now, I could see it almost occupying a similar realm as, like, Sia. Really? Yeah. From, wow. Because it's like... This is interesting. Like, self-destructive mind. You know, that kind of big chorus yeah. that it has yeah it's kind of like chandelier wow you know but she produces her stuff real pop oriented right yes but she wasn't I but mean, she wasn't yeah but like so that's probably what they're trying to say to you right maybe kind of but i didn't uh, this is i mean this is great that you that you mentioned she i love her i really love mm-hmm, her yeah, and i think her great. songs are great yeah they are yeah um but 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 yeah you know it's like um because because I I love to sing loud, so mm-hmm. that's why I guess people, I don't know. I'm just trying to 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 be authentic, you know, and mm. and uh, to stay authentic. Yeah, I think yeah. you're like a blues singer. I was thinking that when uh, I was listening to your paste 
performance. Yeah? Yeah. It, like, you seem like a, you got an old blues soul inside of you. <laughs> right? <laughs> I get that a lot. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Like, old. Uh, so, I don't know. It's, yeah. it's something that I, I, I don't think about. It just, like, comes out of my body, by the way. It's like, right. it's like spiritual kind of. Yeah, it's physical, spiritual. Mm. Um, and it depends on the, 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 the people that are around me and the vibe. But, but yeah, it's like I feel music from a whole different places, you know, in my body and brain. And I don't know. I don't know. It's just like, but I'm so happy you were at the Rough Trade uh, show. Yeah. And you saw the pace. So you kind of have like this, um, I don't know. Um, yeah. You know me. Uh, yeah. Yeah. By, by now. Uh huh. A yeah. little bit. Yeah. Little bit. I'm sure there's lots to know. Oh yeah. You're <laughs> That's why we're here. <laughs> That's why we're here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But so you just recently moved to L.A. Yes. That's what, how long ago? Three years ago. Oh, okay, so not that re- like you're kind of. Yeah, it it, it that, moves so fast. Yeah, we're, that's we're, ten years and like it's like dog years. L. A. years yeah. are different. <laughs> yeah. So you've been like a normal place ten years. <laughs> Something uh, like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we move. I mean, it, it it moves so fast. Really, so I, we were just talking about it. My husband and and myself and my band. We are in the same apartment mm-hmm. right now in New York. It's so much fun. New York's so fun. Yeah. It's, Yo, it's don't so get much me fun. started. Oh, my God. I've spent a lot of time in L.A., but New York has the emotion on the street. Exactly. It's the emotional place. It's exactly. like at just walking down a single block. It's exactly. like 400 emotions. Exactly. Whereas L.A. doesn't is not that. What were you doing in L.A.? I mean, you know, like kind of like music stuff or yeah. go out and write there or like, okay. you know, play gigs and like writing sessions, writing mean? sessions, this kind of thing. You d- you did yeah. that? Yeah, I do some of that. We were just <laughs> we, we have a lot of conversations oh, yeah? about writing sessions in L.A. What? because it's a, it's a <laughs> it's thing. It's a writing session place. It's exactly yeah. and I'm saying like to write a song. I mean, for me. In order to write a song, it has to be something. It's so personal. Yeah, know? it's so intimate, and 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 to go to to a room with like someone you don't know. Mm-hmm. I mean, it, it can be cool, but but maybe I'm just like uh, I need to to be more open. I well, am, but I'm not. It's a chemistry thing. Exactly. And and it's just like going on dates. It's like most of them aren't going to be great. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> unfortunately, <laughs> but every once in a while. Yeah. You know, you find yourself on a good one. Yeah. How did you feel when you went? I mean, it's interesting for me to know. How did you, did you write a good song? I, I, I have written good, really good songs. Yeah, with yeah. people you don't know? Mm-hmm. Wow, yeah. okay. Not, you know, again, it's like more exceptional, I, I would say. Okay. But it is possible. And I've been doing this for so long and writing my own things and stuff. So for me, it's kind of. There's a challenge to getting out of that comfort zone. Of course. And accepting the weird, the awkwardness yes. that you're describing. And it is. It is awkward. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. I mean, it's not like I have vast experience with it, but I have some experience with it. If so, have you, they've put you with people or you've put you with people to write for you or to write for others? For me, yeah. For me, I, 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 it happened probably three times and that's it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like I, I, it's, I, I'm not sure. It's, I mean, I need to, to. I I love to write with with like you know musicians and people that that are inspired. I mean, but it's like I need to feel something, some kind of a connection, mm-hmm. some because otherwise I'm just gonna sit there and be quiet and like it's gonna be awkward because you know there was one girl that I really liked, Tova. She's she's so beautiful. Uh-huh. She's just a beautiful spirit. We became friends. Uh, but other than that, I mean I mean the whole thing of like writing a song with someone you don't know, it's like it can be cool but it can be so and then one time I came back home with was like with a massive headache. I, I couldn't open my eyes because I was so that was mm. so intense and like so awkward. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. how'd you write self destructive mind? I just sat on my balcony. And you wrote that. Yeah. So, yeah. So you probably don't need anyone else because that's a pretty damn good song. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So, like, <laughs> you know, do you well, write? it depends on on on. I've I've wrote some some shitty ones as well, you know. But but yeah, I mean, self destructive mind. I really I'm really proud of this one. Yeah, it's a good one. Thank you. Yeah. So um, and is that something that you grapple with a lot? I mean, I guess we all do. 
So a what, self, our s- mind, course, the mind is of course by its nature. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was. Um, it, it. I wrote this one right after, like five months after I moved to LA, and mm-hmm. then I just sat there. I didn't. I. I, I wasn't like going to write something. I just sat there and and watched the the moon, mm. and I felt so lonely. <laughs> you really? know yeah because because i mean i'm here with my family but i have my 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 big family in israel and my friends and and like i started i started to, to to question my my i was like what am i doing here why did i did that i love why did everything you go to LA? because i wanted to to uh, get out of my comfort zone yeah yeah, and to experience. Yeah, but something. you were in the middle of questioning that within yourself. Exactly, like. just just because I I wasn't sure because of like the doubt is um you know that's the self destructive mind kind of thing that y- you you're going through something beautiful but then this voice in your head says uh uh-uh, uh you're not good you're not what are you doing here you really think you can make it you really you know this like bad bad. Um, L.A. does that. Though. Yeah, I'm yeah. telling you, I <laughs> have LA. that feeling when I'm in L.A. Really? too. Like, what am I doing with <laughs> okay. my life? What does this all mean? Really? Oh yeah, L.A. has that's like the that's like the dark spirit of L.A. Oh wow. Okay. You know? Yeah. So- I think it's like because also it's like such a showbiz town. There's so much like. Exactly. There's so much expression of exactly. of that and making it and this, that, and the other that it kind of just throws that in your face. Exactly, and, and it can and, lead to that kind. And it start and it start to you know to to like cripping like like it's like it's like a um, I don't know how to describe it, but when you're with a lot of people that constantly asking so what are you doing now so oh yeah i right. just did that I just did, yeah i meant this i meant i'm like it's oh. like living inside of instagram <laughs> exactly <laughs> exactly yeah. and i hated instagram uh, at the beginning yeah yeah because you always have to like but but again you need to learn how to use it yeah no in, i in like a good inst- way i mean i i instagram all the time but yeah like i kind of like take breaks from it i go i practice hot yoga every day and run. really yeah i started to practice hot yoga do you go to Urban Exhale in in LA? That's where you should, or that's one of the best places. No, I, that's what got me into hot yoga. Really, this place called they changed their name to Urban because Exhale became like a big corporate thing. Okay, and so now it's called Urban. But so you do this is you know what you can ask him that when I came from hot yoga like two days ago, uh-huh. I was so high. Yeah, I get oh my high. God. It's my drug. Right? Yeah. Okay. 100%. I did I did it today already. Oh my God. That's mm-hmm. why you're so calm. That's I didn't. Right. Yeah. That's why I'm so fucking <laughs> neurotic. Well, I, I know the place to go in uh, in the Lower East Side called Fierce Grace. You're going to send it to me. Yeah, I'll send it to you. All right. It's excellent. So, okay. Yeah. I'm going to go there. I go every day. Wow. Yeah. Every day is intense. Every day, yeah. This is very I'm intense, intense with it. <laughs> okay. I have to be because I got a self-destructive mind, <laughs> <laughs> and I don't do drugs or alcohol anymore. No alcohol as well. No, no, Nothing? I can't. I know you drink because you drink. You uh, gave. You did some drink shaming at your gig. <laughs> I did. That guy, which is that poor guy, offered you a whiskey and coke, and you were like. You drink shamed him. I'm sorry, I wasn't because I just <laughs> said. Were you there? Were you, did, you, did you see her drink shame him? <laughs> he got drink shamed. I'm so sorry. <laughs> she I was just like, no, darling, because... <laughs> darling, a coke. Are you? <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? Because no, I just, just didn't want to. But then I explained that I didn't want to burp. Burp. Right. <laughs> burp. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I told him. It was funny. It was a good moment. <laughs> yeah, no gas before a show. Yeah. Yeah. Then you like no no way. But yeah. Oh my God, you remember this one? But I, I wish. Was, yeah, I wish I could wow. like drink still without turning into a degenerate. So yeah. <laughs> good on yeah. you that you can do that. 
I, I've learned how to yeah. do it. Yeah. Oh, did you have to learn? Yes. <laughs> how'd, you, how'd that go? <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> some shows, you know, I drank too much mm -hmm. and that was not good. Right. That was not good. Yeah, that's not good. Yeah. I'm like, okay. So, I, and then I, I, there were like, I don't know, several of shows and I'm like, okay, I'm, that's it. I'm not, I'm not going to touch it anymore. Mm -hmm. But I'm like, maybe just one little, one sip, <laughs> like, mm. and then I just found the balance, I think. Man, lucky you. I'm trying. No, it seems good. I'm trying. Yeah. yeah. And what about weed? I don't even do that anymore. No. I can't do it. Me too. But in LA, they got all the weed, legal weed shops. I know, Their I know. packaging is on point. I can't, I can't. I'm, I become crazy. Me too. By the way, self-destructive mind and all the thoughts, and it's like, it's, it's, you know, you, you become paranoid, and, and, and totally. there are people that cannot deal with it, and I'm one of them. I, I can't really either. Last time I was in L.A. for a long period of time, though, I kept going to the store and buying, like, one joint. Because it was, like, the way they packaged it, I got duped by the packaging. Yeah. But yeah. then, like, coming back to New York, I actually, like, ordered some weed because I was like, oh, maybe weed's okay. Mm -mm. And and then and the guy came and I like ordered it from some guy, some random like call service. It's still ille an illegal operation. The guy <laughs> shows up, and uh, and uh, we're meeting outside. And I like buy some weed, and he goes, "Hey, you want some coke?" <laughs> oh my like, goodness, dude! It's like suddenly I'm like around a coke scene. Federal crime, <laughs> right? And I was like, you know what? I'm done. That was it. I was like, this is done now. Like we're done with this. Like. But it's like crazy when you think about how like weed's legal in LA. Exactly. And it's like a Mac store like this. And then in New York City, we're still dealing with this kind of nonsense. <laughs> hey, you want some Coke? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's like... But they started selling it in bodegas. What is it called? The D. Oh, yeah. No, you're talking what? about CBD. C yeah, CBD, that. yeah. It's yeah. everywhere. Like, yeah. CBD is great. New York's obsessed with CBD yeah. because... It's New York's version of legal weed, right. so they're trying to pretend but like it's... But it's at every bodega. It is. It's, it's great. It's, it's crazy. Six dollars or eight dollars yeah. or yeah. whatever. <laughs> Gummy PhDs. Yeah. yeah. So who's putting out your new record? When's the new record coming out? Well, it's supposed to... to I mean, probably next year, but um, yeah, we're, we're looking for a home. Oh, okay. For this one. You're that's gonna, why, you yeah. could self-release it too, probably, right? You got a big following. That's, th that's what we did with Pepe Parachute. Uh-huh. Uh, but I think now we, we want to, we want to, we just want to take it to the next level. Right. That's why, yeah. Oh, okay. So you're shopping it around. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have a name for it? Is it done or is it just no, in progress? No, we just, yeah, it's in progress. We're just working, uh, you know, in a studio. Um, it's not done yet. We have, we have all the songs by now, mm -hmm. but um, we're still... We have demos ready. Are you out go. in LA working on it? Yes. Where do, where do you guys work? At Joseph's home? studio. Oh, Joseph has yeah. a studio? Yeah. Yeah. So he's like pretty brilliant guitar player too. He's a huh? brilliant person. Yeah. Yeah. What's and he's he, so he talented. Like? What's he like? Yeah. Well, he's very, um, he's very calm. Uh huh. He's very, um, He's very smart and he's very talented. He's like yeah. he can play every instrument. Yeah. And he plays it fucking amazing. The drums, the bass, the guitar, the piano, the 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 fucking uh, what anything. I like him too cuz he likes hip hop. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. That, oh, he, he said, said that, that today. At pace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. I was like I, li I knew I liked this dude. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. Not only does he have a fantastic beard. <laughs> yes. But he yes. likes hip hop. Yes. This guy. He likes hip hop. <laughs> he's he's now actually he's like in in the middle of like he's mixing got his own project. Yes, yes, yeah. he's doing his own project. I was supposed to do a session with him on Monday. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. What yeah. are you going to do? I don't know. Is he a singer? He wants to do something. Really? Yeah. Is there any competitive spirit in y'all's relationship, or is it no. just kismet? Like no, no. It's just like we're, we're like, you know, everything yeah. is like, you know, we fight sometimes. Yeah. Because we're husband and wife. Yeah, well, it wouldn't be passionate without a little bickering spice. here. And there. Yeah, yeah, a little yeah. spice. That's okay. Yeah. I mean, it's it, it comes from me most of the time. It's your fault? I didn't say it's my fault. I say it comes from me. So you just said he was calm, so it's gotta be her. No, no, I'm not. I'm, 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 I'm calm as well. Don't you see? Yeah. Very. I just drink too much coffee this morning. Um, but yeah, I mean, 
you know, we're, we're learning how to like deal with each other when, for, in, for instance, when we're rehearsing and then he's like doing something that I don't like. Mm. So first of all, with me, I'm very direct. I'm yeah. very like straightforward. Uh -huh. I'm not gonna go and be, you know, and I'm gonna say it in a Listen, beautiful word. No. So I'm saying it like, boom. Mm -hmm. So sometimes, because you know, he's my husband and, and everything and I need to be like, um, babe, can uh, don't do that. Like, mm -hmm. you know, just, and he's like, okay, uh, all right, so uh, what do you want me to do? Does just try say, to do. All right, it's your career. No. <laughs> 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 well, I, I, listen, I listen to him most of the time, but you know, it's like, yeah. it's, it's interesting. It's interesting. It's because a good we're, dynamic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where did yeah. you guys meet? We were working on my fourth uh, Hebrew album. He was, he was one of the producers. Um, yeah, we met there. Just like, uh, yeah. And and you started. You said you only started playing guitar when you were twenty five. That's right. Wow, you're a really good listener. And uh, I remember everything. Well, thank you. Yeah. And but you won a, you won um, Idol in Israel when you were yeah. twenty, right? Is yes. that right? Yes, that's so you, correct. So you were there as a singer, I guess. Yes, I was there as a singer. I was writing, but I didn't really like. You know, I I. I think the courage was was missing mm -hmm. back then. But then, um, well, I have a crazy story. You really want to go, go into the go deep? Yes. <laughs> no, you you were going to say well, something. Well, you were about in the Israel because, army no, too, no, right? I was, I was in the Israeli army. Yeah. And then, how? Uh, what years were that? How old were you? So it was like right after the, the um, when I won the, the Israeli Idol. Uh -huh. It was like. I got left three months in the army, and then yeah, and then I just uh, I, I because in Israel when you get to 18 you have to you have to join go, yeah go to the army, and then like what's that like when like w what <laughs> go, going into the army when you're 18? Well, you're a kid, so it's you're not, not thinking. Fun. Yeah. No, I mean <laughs> it's not something that you you like. This is the the reality you you grew up you know it's like so you know it's coming and yeah you know it's coming and you're like accepting it because mm -hmm. you don't know anything else um is there anything good about it well you get to meet a lot of uh new people yeah you get to, and i think it, it teaches you how to to be very um i don't know m probably discipline or to right. yourself or to you know yeah, um, that's kind of what I was sitting here thinking for a second. Like, that is what? that a good thing about it that maybe like you become disciplined? You become disciplined, yeah, and you become uh, like more um, I probably I don't know mature, mm -hmm. I guess because you know for girls it's different. Mm -hmm. um, How so? The, it's like there are girls that are like going to, um, you know, using weapon in like you know. Um, um, Training. training training with yeah. guns uh, and whatnot but uh but but most of the time it's like like um you know office kind of uh oh, work and and yeah yeah but you know in israel everyone is uh brothers and sisters so you you get to help a lot too what do you and mean by that everyone i mean that i mean that if you say uh, like army in israel everyone's gonna of course gonna know exactly what you're talking about right you know? but here I mean, people ask questions because they're like, "So, what is it like? How is it? You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like a, a whole. It's it's a community of love, <laughs> if I might say. Com yeah. Not camaraderie, I guess. Camaraderie, like, yeah. Yeah, it's such a small country that it's everyone a very small sort country. of knows everyone. And exactly, that's what I meant. Yeah. It's like you all went to the same camp after school or something. Exactly. I don't know. Uh, really? It's, yeah, it's sort of. It's weird. Yeah. It yeah, sounds. It, it brings, I have to it say, brings it, Israelis together. It sounds in a way. badass too. Like, like when yeah. you say you're in the Israeli army, I'm yeah, always like, I didn't, "That's yeah. badass," you know. <laughs> well, I had a thing when I did my green card. Um, so th they have s a lot of questions that that are for me they they were weird, but I mean the officer she she, she looked at me in a very strange way, because. I was fulfilling the the form, you know, and it's like, did you ever uh, like uh, hold a gun or did you use? I'm like, that's on the questionnaire. Yeah. Oh. 
Do, I'm like, were you uh, trained how to do, you know, how to use a gun? I'm like, yeah. I mean, and, and then she's like, what? What do you mean? <laughs> By who? <laughs> I'm like, I I was in the army in Israel, right. but but then then she's like, okay, and that you know, and it, and it's weird to them. And for me, it's yeah. like, yeah. I mean, but now I, I, it's it was a long time ago. I was a child, <laughs> but yeah. you know, yeah. it's weird. Strange that that's a question on the green card. Oh my god, that's that's yeah, the most easy strange. one. Really? Yeah. The questions are very strange. What's the hot? What's the? Give me an example. Um, uh, do you have an attempt to kill someone? Oh, well, we all did. <laughs> right? like, like, and I'm like, hasn't? um, not that I know of anyone. I mean, no, no. Wait, I don't is this multiple kill question? <laughs> <laughs> is, multiple. is this a trick question? <laughs> I think you know the answer just by looking in my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> that was very weird. That was very weird. What's another one? Uh, let's see if I remember. Um, I'm assuming you got the green card. Yes. Right. They damn well better have given you exactly. one. Exactly. I'd write in and complain if they didn't. <laughs> no, it was weird and scary and like the questions. And then I, I, I'm like, I'm thinking about the answers. I'm like, I'm trying to think deep. And it's like, no, I don't want to kill anyone. Not yet. I mean, not now. Um, no, I'm kidding. But it's like, and she didn't understand it was a joke. She, yeah. Oh, you, she's like, you you went for that joke Yeah, yeah, there? yeah. Oh, and then she's she, like, I'm like, oh, no, no, no. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm just, no. I'm, I'm kidding. <laughs> scary. You know, and that's, that's, the, that's the difference oh between God. here, between America and Israel. Because mm -hmm. in Israel, it's all about, you know, more joking yeah yeah it's yeah. like but here it's like all some so people strict don't understand sarcasm <laughs> or you know or irony or whatever or like you yeah know. yeah i can understand that though yeah yeah so okay so then so just two years later then that's when you decided to enter this competition were you a singer so you had been a singer before or what? yes i was a singer ever since i was eight. Oh, okay yeah who, I, I who was, got you into that then I just like one of my um, my my sister just um, she, um, you know it has like a, a, she had a birthday party um, she was uh, one day old one day old yes and already a birthday party <laughs> yeah that, that's girl. what her, that's what her birthday <laughs> what a diva you know? <laughs> <laughs> and we did like you know this like, this event in like a you know in a, in a hall like and then i was eight and i started to sing i just took the mic from the dj mm -hmm. and i told him can i have your mic for a second mm. i was eight and i started to sing and i Ever since that day, I remember it so clearly. Ever mm. since that day, I, I just didn't want to let it go. Right. And I, I discovered that I know how to sing. Yeah. I don't know if it was a, it was beautiful, but I just like, okay, I feel something in my body. It's yeah. like, great. Yeah. And then ever since, I'm like singing. I had this, this thing after school. I came home and I closed the windows um, in my room. Mm. And I had like this radio tape, you know, it was like the 90s. It was like Sony radio tape, you okay. know, with a, with a disc, um, disc on compact it disc, like, yeah. you know, you know. <laughs> Like and a boombox. Something uh, like that. Uh, yeah. One. yeah. Yeah. With the second gen. I know what you're yeah, talking about yeah, with yeah. the CD player yeah. on it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So I used to come home and just sing so loud. Mm -hmm. Like, tr I was, and only like now, these days, I understand that I was training myself without knowing that yeah. I'm training myself. Oh, that's interesting. I used yeah. to do that same thing. Driving, really? Driving around, singing to Sting and stuff like that. Who would you sing to? Oh, my God. So I mean, Jimi uh, Hendrix, too. I shouldn't just throw myself under the bus with Sting. <laughs> but I think that's funny. But who, who would you sing to? Well, when I was uh, 13, uh, it was... Most most of the time there were like singers, female singers, uh -huh. and the greatest one like Whitney. Oh yeah. Yeah, Whitney, Celine, and Mariah. They uh -huh. taught me how to sing. Right on. And then when I was seventeen, yeah, I I went into like the more like grunge, you Rock know, Nirvana, mm -hmm. and yeah. So it's like a combination of. Um, of, of I don't know soul soul blues and rock I guess mm -hmm. I don't know yeah yeah Nirvana was big for me too oh yeah yeah oh yeah and then also Jeff Buckley was huge for you oh my God Jeff yeah. is like yeah Jeff yeah he's he's he is the 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 he's like your muse yes exactly yeah it's so weird because the first song that I ever played on a guitar. It's a song of his, of his and uh, Elizabeth Fraser. Mm -hmm. 
It's called um, <clears throat> um, All Flowers in Time, Bend Towards the Sun. Uh-huh. So it's it never re- it never um, got like you know out released um, because it was like uh, their own kind of intimate song, and I found it on the on the internet mm-hmm. like YouTube, yeah. and I just learned how to play it because it was like easy, and this is one of the most beautiful song you're gonna ever it's like every time i hear it i'm like tears in my eyes oh really yeah it's just like the perfect song so this is the play first it for us i had I, I, i don't i'm not sure <laughs> i don't think so <laughs> i'm i can try but it's so embarrassing because yeah yeah we had gary lucas on the podcast oh really yeah okay i so i played with gary uh-huh on a tribute to jeff yeah. and actually it was No, it was in Paris, but then I came to New York and I, I had a show with Gary here a mm. long time ago He's when I had a purple hair. He's fast. So what did you... Oh, my God, I didn't He know that. He spoke about the whole, the whole Ca- Jeff thing. Well, really? Ca- Captain yeah, Beefheart into, into for like... Detail, Captain Beefheart. Yeah. A lot of that. And then now we're writing together, me and him. Really? Yeah, he's sending me guitar parts and I'm singing over him. Oh, my God, that's so cool. Yeah, we have like six songs now since the podcast. Are you kidding me? No, I'm not. <laughs> This is so cool. I know, it's really cool. Wow. Because he wrote like Mojo Pin and Great... He wrote those riffs yeah he wrote the riffs yeah mojo and grace um which to me like when i when i sort of found that out and, yeah and was listening to it then i was like man that was kind of an integral part of jeff's sound yes and they should never have gotten rid of gary well <laughs> my opinion i don't i don't know the inside scoop of it all but he gave us the scoop he gave us the scoop. What? you're right what he, he was he pushed did. out he, like jeff ended up pushing gary out well uh, yeah i don't want to let that's leave. well you could listen to the podcast it's episode <laughs> three or four it's a two-hour podcast we don't want to get jeff goes, fans all right, riled right, up no, and pissed no on but you us. know what you know what you can never know what you happened never, there. Exactly. yeah that's what who who said that or did rosanna say that no somebody else said that oh Ninette podcast. just said that no <laughs> then you don't know what what you can you know. exactly you can never know and you yeah, can yeah. never judge right. by a story from one side that's you know true. that's right. not fair yeah, yeah. that's not fair so that's let's true. just let's just leave jeff spirit see See, I upset her. See, yeah. I, to- I, I, I told you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I told you. The Gary was fascinating nonetheless. But yeah, it's he a was great episode. Kind. He was very kind to Jeff. And he's and a cool... spoke e- really highly about him. Yeah, it wasn't like a bad rap no, about Jeff. I, I asked Gary so many questions about Jeff. Mm-hmm. Like, like everything what? I can think of. It was like... Um, but, but he told me kind of like the story, but it was like... It's his interpretation as well. Don't forget. You That's know, it's true. Like, it's yeah. like, That's so, absolutely. That, yeah, is, that yeah. is true. I'm not saying anything bad, but no. it's like, like. Everyone has their own perception exactly, of reality. Exactly. And reality exactly. is such a complicated dream. Exactly. You know, ever, I love sh- it. ever shifting. So. I love it. Yeah. It's beautiful. Yeah. So you then, wh- when did you decide? So Jeff inspired you to pick up the guitar. Yeah, but but my story is like, uh, I, well, okay. I'm just gonna try to um, to describe it in like a few sentences because it's so long and complicated and fucking yeah. I'm just gonna try to do it, okay? So after I won the 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 Israeli Idol, mm-hmm. I I was I was 19, I was 20, and then and then. Um, You know, it was, it's like happened overnight and I, I was it's suddenly... It's like celebrity almost, right? Yeah, Or yeah. Not yeah. even almost. Not like even you, almost, you exactly. You became like a big star. Yeah, yeah. What was and that like? It was, it was, um, I didn't realize what, what, what happened to me until like, I don't know, probably six years ago. I'm trying, I'm still trying to find out. Oh, really? Because, yeah, because it's it a mess progress. With you. Yeah, yeah. Um, it happened overnight and it was so intense and so big and so 
it was like the biggest thing ever happened in like the 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 industry of you know Israel and the uh-huh. culture and because it was the first season oh I see so the first season was like so, you, so you, were, you just got attached to a juggernaut basically exactly and you didn't know you didn't really know what you were signing exactly up for. exactly exactly Patient zero and it went and it went off as much as it could wow have. you have <laughs> no idea okay well, yeah. you have no idea it right, was like, so intense so intense and so powerful and so and i was like did you I was, like it on some level or so was it just I was, spooky as hell and i was just happy because i'm like okay now i can sing in right. front of like I a lot of i was so naive and, yeah. i was so naive not i wasn't even thinking about the money you know true when you're I that was, young you're not really giving a shit i was about like money. wow i'm like and now i can sing and I, and you know i was like everywhere and 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 i didn't have like one song out mm. i was R- so right. famous but yeah. with nothing and then i started to ask questions so so wait why do i deserve all this love for what mm-hmm. you know what did i do i didn't do anything i'm just like i sang but it's like i have nothing behind me i'm like right and then i started to ask questions um and you know i've had like all the people like on top of you know the 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 managers and and everyone like you need to do this you need to do this you need to do oh no you have to do this oh no you need to to sing this song you need to sing and i wasn't um you know i wasn't um feeling confidence with the things that i've that i've written back then so i i took a producer actually it was like my my um childish childhood uh hero um and he produced the first album okay yeah who is that aviv aviv geffen okay that's his name he's a really really talented and brilliant uh, so the artist obvious next thing was like okay, we need an album and, exactly and so and had you been writing songs yet or so i wrote I, i wrote two songs like the, the lyrics for uh-huh. this album but the rest uh the rest of the album aviv wrote and and it was like very very i didn't know who i am that right, time i didn't right. know what i love i, I just like yeah. okay he says that okay let's do it okay you know yeah. like that okay uh but then <laughs> after like i don't know and how'd that record go really good oh really just went yeah so your success train was like running full steam that no was that <laughs> record like sold <laughs> platinum, platinum in, in, in like 24, 24 hours. hours yeah yeah okay yeah but i i wasn't sure that i'm digging the songs you know i'm like oh, so you start going like what am i doing yeah so i'm like i mean uh-uh. the songs are great but back then i wasn't feeling but that they I'm, weren't you no maybe. no the, like uh, it was weird it was like a combination of like weird um way of working on this album and i just never mind i don't want to can go I, into wait it. can i ask you did it start to feel like you were like giving away some of your soul or something was like what because so so i was not happy right that's it i was like i saw like you know platinum and everything and it was like a big success and everyone in israel like But oh my god i guess to an outsider listening they would like like the logical thing would be like okay then course correct on album number two um I'm getting there. Oh right. <laughs> so that's that's what happened. Oh yeah, you have no fucking idea because uh, yeah. it was so You you overly course corrected. Um, I'm you like, course okay. corrected like <laughs> like have, a motherfucker. Oh yeah. <laughs> you, oh, cor- yeah. <laughs> you course corrected with a vengeance. Oh, my God. Is that what happened? Well, you know what? <laughs> the the story actually begins <laughs> in that that point because right. I was like Okay, I'm 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 having a lot of shows and everything is you know sold out uh-huh. and packed and full and but I'm 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 going to sleep at night and I don't feel like this is me and it's like, and and then I'm mm. like but this is a problem because I can't like what am I doing? What am right. I doing? And then I'm like okay, this is not for me. I'm going to quit. Uh. Yeah, I'm like and and I don't know how to explain it to you, but in Israel just like you said earlier um it's like everybody knows everybody but it's like and everybody has something to say always uh-huh you know <laughs> always two israelis 20 opinions well exactly. like it's like everyone's telling it like it is a who yeah sort basically of. like yeah. <laughs> oh okay. we call him telling it like it is a who <laughs> oh, okay says it like it is okay 
Yeah. So yeah. So in Israel, <laughs> I mean, the the critics and everyone and the audience but and there's, there's nowhere to escape to in Israel. Everyone's in your business. Uh-huh. Exactly. All the time. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. And for me, th- there were like I'm talking about you know paparazzi like waiting outside of my door like that every day. Wow. Yeah. Like. The color of my hair, my weight, my face, what oh, did I do, who thing. did I date it, what, you know, like, and I started to feel like, okay, this is like too much, it's too much. You were I, like in the Truman Show. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. That's weird. That's what I said always. Like, I, I feel like I'm in the Truman Show because it's yeah. like, everybody knows everything about me. Like, yeah. every little detail, like, what yeah. did I eat, what did I eat, what, like, the <laughs> shoes yeah, that, that I'm buying. Yeah, that type of fame would not be fun. Oh my God, that was, that was really tough. Yeah. And I was a child, you know, and yeah. for a child to deal, I mean, I understand it now, but back then I was like, okay, this is too much for me, maybe I should, like, take a step back. Right. Um, but then the, the second album, mm-hmm. it's the exact opposite of the first one. Right. And it sold like probably I don't know, six thousand so inst- instead of like fifty. Right. Yeah, it was. What was it like? Well, I joined a band, a rock band. Uh huh. So it became more rock and roll. Oh yeah. So it went from pop to rock and roll, basically. Yes, yes, that's what that's what happened. But it was like hard, like it was grungy rock and roll. It was. It like was. Super it was. It was a very like. Uh, Kind of like grungy psychedelic, um, and I wrote, and I get to 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 write the songs with with my band members. Mm-hmm. That was so great. I just went to their show and I saw them, and I was like, okay, that's what I want. Mm-hmm. That's what I need. And then I started like this whole process of, and then I found um, I discovered Jeff. Mm. Yeah, when I was twenty three. Oh, okay. And then uh, I just started to dig, you know, deep in music and yeah. and, and my taste. It's everything everything changed, and the audience in Israel they didn't accept it. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. So they didn't accept the second record, but no. they they haven't accepted anything since, or is it? They're they they're now they're st- they're starting to. Yeah. And it's been like probably like ten years. You seem to be very well liked, like just from the. I mean, just from kind of exploring your universe to the degree that I have recently, like there's a lot of love in the air for you. From, yes, from there what is. I can gather. There is. There is. Yeah. I mean, I feel it. But I, so imagine that when I f- when I started, it was it was. <laughs> I I don't know how to explain it really. I don't. No, you don't. you did explain it pretty, yeah? well, pretty well. I think so. V- yeah, it was like el- the love was was very 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 like intense like intense and then yeah, gone. Yeah, yeah, and gone and, and then it was hate. Oh, and then it was hate. Yeah, people were so mad. Why were they? So what would they like? What they did that they were look mad like? because because they were like, what the fuck are you doing? And how was what was the record wow. really that crazy? Do, do you like the second record? Yes. Oh, so it's so you stand. I love by it. it, of course. Oh, okay, why well, I, I didn't love know. it. I but, love it. Yeah. And the critics, everyone was like full of like hatred and like, who do you think she is? What are you doing? What is this rock and roll shit? What the, you know, like they were pissed. Yeah, you know what it is? It's like people de- like when you get vulnerable and you like expand your horizons and you like become sort of even you're uh, who you evolving. People yeah. have a natural fear of that because most people are not spending their time getting up to that. Yes. And it reminds them that they're that not they're doing not. that. So and right. so they're like, fuck you. You're Who do so you right. think you are? Yeah, yeah. And you're yeah. like, yo, it's just tunes, man. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, maybe, okay, you don't like it, but like, don't don't make it personal. Oh, my God. So that, that was so personal. Virtu- like, what's it called? Vitoral or what's the word? I don't Visceral? know. Visceral? No, like, I don't know. Animosity. Like, animosity yeah like that animosity coming yeah. at you yeah 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 like, are that was tough that was very that's tough. beyond fickle though they because they identified with you to a degree that was just wild and then you had to kind of like almost cut all those cords exactly yeah exactly you don't know how you're so right yeah that this is exactly what happened and i, and I yeah. was like so the the turning point was at a festival in Israel mm-hmm. that I decided to um, to launch the the second album. Yeah, and I was so naive. Really, I was like, 
because I was working so hard on this album and it was like it came from my soul and my heart and yeah. my spirit and you know I just wrote I and I learned how to play guitar and it was so intense everything was intense yeah. and I was so happy to share it with the fans right. and with the people and like and then I went on stage with with my new band uh-huh. and it was like a big, big festival in Israel, and uh-huh. everyone, like the media, like backstage, and like everyone is waiting to see like what how the do. yeah, what am I going to do, and how do I do it, and what what the oh. songs sound like. <laughs> this was before the album came out. This is like the day the, the day. album, oh. yeah, yeah, the day. No one knew anything about this album, right. and, and they they thought it's gonna be like the you know like the another follow-up. yeah the follow up of the first one. Mm-hmm. So I'm going on stage. I'm like taking my jazz master, my guitar, and like I just bought you had a it. Jazz from, master, yeah, the I had Kurt a jazz Cobain master. special. Oh my goodness! I had <laughs> like I had right. like I had like 64 <laughs> jazz master, yeah. like you know, like the 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 real shit. The real, and, the Kurt Cobain. Yeah, 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 and like I just like started to play, and the first song, like everyone was quiet. They were cri- quiet, but then mm-hmm. the second one, I'm like, I'm, you know, I'm singing and I'm I'm happy because I'm like, this is the music music that I love to play and yeah. uh, and then I was starting to hear from the crowd like ooh, 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 ooh like that oh, and I'm like yeah. I'm like I'm not sure what I'm hearing what is that yeah and then There's they started to like curse that. me like Ooh. Yeah, boo. Like boo. boos and like, <laughs> oh like you God. fucking idiot. Like you get off stage. We don't want to see you. And like, wow. like bad, bad, bad. Wow. And the news was they were behind stage and everyone, like all media people yeah. are backstage like waiting for me to go down. And then I'm like, so that moment for me yeah. after, you know, getting all this love from people in Israel, yeah. So that moment for me was like, I can't believe this is happening. Yeah. I'm like, I was I was 25, 24, yeah. 25, and I'm like, this is not happening. No, it's like it's impossible. What what is happening? And I, I like see it, the faces and the eyes and like, wow. And then I had a like I had a chance to just like stop the show because it was so embarrassing. Oh my God. Stop the show and just get off stage and like, I'm never coming back. Or like, I'm thinking while I'm singing and playing, I'm thinking, okay, should I stop? Should I stop? Should I stop? And then something like a voice in my in my heart or my head or something just said, no, you're, no, you're not gonna give up. Right. Don't give up, don't go, don't go. Because that moment I knew that if I'm going now off stage, I'm going to do it every time I'm I'm like you yeah. know um um every time I'm I'm getting this kind of like reaction from people from mm-hmm. the crowd from the critics from and no I don't want to be this this uh, coward no I'm just going to I need to face it I need to face it and I mm. will face it and I finished the show yeah and it was like the one of the most hardest things that I've ever done in my life yeah and I went backstage and I, I like I'm holding my tears you know and then someone from the from the some some kind of a reporter he says um Ninette so um <laughs> we heard uh th- were they booing you I'm like yeah didn't you hear yeah yeah uh, how do you feel I don't know I, I don't know I I want to go please just let me go yeah. like you know and and of course I cry the whole night yeah but but I think that evening something happened to me uh-huh. something like I became like um a warrior yeah that's what i feel god that's great <laughs> it's great on so many levels because really? it, well it reminds me of like bob dylan going electric yeah. for one. Oh yeah 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 it's yeah. like it's Newport. like it's oh like, it's like oh that but it's you know it's also like on a on a kind of like big level you had like this really toxic relationship but with a mass with a mass and, exactly. and then and then this was you like the reaction Reve- their reaction towards you revealed the toxicity of the bond and you showing your authentic self and their reaction to that revealed the toxicity of the bond and the fact that you kept going was like your first step into healing that toxic exactly. relationship exactly you're yeah. so you're very smart thank you i love talking to <laughs> you i love talking to you too really yeah this is really this is so true it's yeah interesting though it's such a great story and your whole take on it 
So yeah, this is my story. You know, uh, so many things happen like ever since, but it's like you know my my musical um, choices and and like I I get like a lot of offers. I got a lot of offers for like you know doing like like all kinds of you know things that belongs to my my past and and I'm like no I can't do it I can't do it right. I need to stay focused I need to stay yeah, loyal to that myself was the toxic yes zone. exactly so yeah. but then yeah that's then you that's kind of double down and your third album was in English Oh yeah, the third so album was the version of the second album, but in English. So, so even <laughs> even more, <laughs> yes. even more. That, yes. Well, that's yeah, because that I love the third album. By the way, I did sense. it with the same band, the fir- the t- the second and the third one with Rockfall. You know Rockfall. Did any? Of course. And you must have had some people come around in support. Too. Of course. Like, like especially because just the whole like. But you know that what was what was the 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 trick yeah. here? How do you say, uh, it's not a trick, it's uh, like w- when you fall off of, of, like in between the... the Cracks? Yeah, yeah, but it's not like Malkodet, kind oh, of? Oh, the trap, the booby trap. trap. Okay, the, the so trap. yeah, the, the thing is that the audience of, of the, the people that liked me at the first album, mm-hmm. so now the second album, they hated my, my fucking being, mm-hmm. okay? But then the audience that were supposed to like the second album hated me because I was a pop star. Oh, right. Well, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Of course, yeah. So... They couldn't, yeah. They they were like, who she thinks she is? She's like playing guitar. She's playing Jeff right. Buckley. So what, everybody what? hated you. Yeah. For a second. That's what I thought. But then every time I go in the street, you know, in Israel, I get so much love from, yeah, from people. I'm sure. I mean, and then even, I'm, I'm, yeah. it, that's exactly what I said earlier about Gary, because sometimes we have a story in our head. Yeah. Yeah. We're sure that this is the reality, but we have no idea that this is our perspective. And I felt like I'm like, everybody hates me, but, but this is not true, you know, because they just wanted to, to love what I do and, and my music. But I mean, they loved me, but it just needed to, to feel connected to the music. And, yeah. you know, it's so complicated. My God. It is. Toxic relationships are complicated that yeah. way. Yeah. Because like, you know, have you ever heard of like narcissistic personality disorder yes. and all yes, that kind of, of stuff? I mean, a lot of, a lot of that stuff's becoming more popular. Of course. And if you've dealt with like toxic family of origin or, or even like love relationships or whatever, that whole thing of this is my perception but yeah. if you're an empath who's being like narcissistically abused you also have to like draw some lines in the sand yeah and even like in what you're saying too about okay this is all your perspective but you had to draw some lines in the sand as well like, exactly so in some ways yes it is our perspective and things are abstract that way but at the other time you have to know how to protect yourself because exactly. if you don't, exactly. like this and world will eat you And I didn't know how. Up. I yeah. didn't know how to do it. And that's why I was so... But only like the last few years, I started to realize what happened to me, mm-hmm. you know? And then yeah. I told my husband, I told him, you know, I think I'm PTSD. Yeah, I was going to say Yeah, for sure. Really? Yeah. Because I find myself like acting and... In, 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 like my reactions for for i mean he can he can he can say it like also like when he asked me like things and i'm like nope i'm not gonna do it yeah and he's like wait but i'm just like i'm just like yeah. and he's like okay i'm sorry uh, i'm sorry i just w- what did you what do you want to ask <laughs> you know yeah. i have this like like um it's you know to begin yeah with. yeah it's it's I- i'm working on it have I'm you ever just, heard of ho'opono pono oh my god what <laughs> don't tell me she's <laughs> what <laughs> Happy yeah, I love you. I'm fun. sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. That's the. That's Joe's. That's I love. That's my second. mantra. I do that every day. I, I, what? Yeah. I don't believe you. <laughs> oh my god. I don't believe oh that you. We've know. never had a reaction like this about no. him. Oh my god. Actually, a- Ehud tells me not to bring this up on the podcast anymore because oh they bring 30, <laughs> 30 episodes. It's ho pono pono every time. Uh, no I, way. No way. Yeah. No well, way. especially for post traumatic stress disorder. This is like, and no, I'm. I'm like. I have like this heat. <laughs> um, how yeah. what i can't believe someone no oh my oh god my, i Another love it person in the universe yeah listen to me okay <laughs> <laughs> wow. wow this is amazing <laughs> show it to my new one i love you man you're awesome oh my god Lonnie, 
את לא יודעת באיזה רמות הוא על הפרק. לא, listen to me, listen. אוקיי, אוקיי. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm back. I'm sorry. I'm just like, I'm ruining the studio. I'm so sorry. I can't believe... Thanks, dude. Listen to me, Joseph. It's Listen such to a me healing. Very, Dr. Hugh very, Lin. Of course. Joe Vitale. Oh, my God. Yeah, uh, yeah, no. Dr. Hugh Lin healed a whole mental hospital for the criminally insane. I know. Just by looking at their files. I know. Not he said that single... while he was reading. Listen to me. This book oh, yeah, the Joe is Vitale. my Bible. Yeah. Yes. Joe, oh, show, man. show her one of your Ho'oponopono uh, art. I artworks. make Ho'oponopono art. Just pull one up. Okay. I got the chills. Dude. I'm like, I, I, I can't believe it. I yeah. can't. In fact, I started last week something called Ho'oponopono Friday, where a group of, like, a, on social media, I got a group of people all praying Ho'oponopono uh, at 5 p.m. Eastern, Friday, fr- every Friday. So it's called, and, you know, just to, like, spread awareness of this beautiful mantra and prayer. Because, I can't uh, believe y- y- I'm, okay, okay, I want to explain something to you, okay? When I say, say it to people, yeah, like, do, have you heard of I hope and open? And, and they're like, no, I'm, I'm like, okay, so I, how can I explain what this thing is? Yeah, I make like these paintings. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> this is crazy. I can't believe it. I, I, I like. I, I. <laughs> Joe, you got a new Instagram follower. <laughs> <laughs> I follow, no, I started no. following her today. Actually. This is crazy. <laughs> Ronnie, can you please tell him? R- Ronnie, get on the mic. You gotta go. Here, come here. here. Come sit down. Ronnie, can you please tell him? How can I explain it to him? <laughs> Listen to you. <laughs> oh my God. This is. I need to relax for a second. <laughs> This Man, Ho'oponopono is, is magical, though. Like, and when you said the post-traumatic the, stress that's disorder, that's exactly what I wanted to say. Because I, I it had saved it my too, life. and it saved my life mm. because I was working so hard on myself to overcome a lot of toxic shit in my life. My God, and and, and my it wasn't God. until I discovered Ho'oponopono that, and I was working super hard and doing everything right. Like, but when I discovered that prayer, then I broke through some oh glass because it's like about self. It's, it's about, about forgiveness and, exactly. and it's about taking full responsibility exactly. for everything in your field of consciousness exactly. and losing the victim mentality exactly. entirely. And it's not about throwing up, uh, upon the other your 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 yeah. feelings, your the, the, the fact that you're feeling yeah. sad or angry or right. it's all. And the fact that nothing exists on the outside. Yeah. So, you know, when you get it, when yeah. you feel it, right. it's so powerful. Yeah. And then you can really like do a, like a great job with like forgiving and you feel like this mm. peace in your heart yeah it really like, it cut it's so you can live from inspiration rather than from memory that, oh my god you i know? have it on my fridge yeah i like, have this <laughs> sentence ronnie please tell him i have this <laughs> <laughs> I'm so he happy does have right that now. Sometimes. This no, no, is amazing. You know, it's like the, oh the, the kind of person that every morning wakes up and does her whole ritual yeah. and makes sure she gets in her like proper mindset exactly. before approaching the day. And it's, exactly. and it's like a proactive way to, to see the day. And it's, uh, I respect it. Yeah, that's what I do every single day. I, like, I have mantras that I have on YouTube. Me too. Yeah, and I go... Oh my God, I, God I'm going to send you something. I'll you're going you s- to freak out. Okay. Listen, this... <laughs> wait what do you want to say you want well say- i go on a uh, well, the way i do it is i go on a run my i start my day with a run and i have a mantra the ho'oponopono mantra of course. um on and i don't know if like we can even play it but like the one that i use a lot has a beat to it and so i'll usually run for like an hour with this and then i go to my hot yoga class and that and and then when i'm doing all my breathing in hot yoga it's always ho'oponopono in and out oh for God. for the whole time and it's like the one i use you're going to like this guy it's like a shamany i don't know if we can have this on the it's with binaural beats oh too. my god this is the shit put, that i'm digging right now Perfect. Right? For wow. running? Wow. Just like. Can you send it to me? I'll definitely Wait, I send think it I... to you. 
Yeah, I'll send it to you. Oh my god. I'll send you all the ones I like. There's like three or four I love. So I have a meditation yeah. for, from someone that, that this is great. No, it's, I mean, like I tell people, like if you do, the, if you start your day with this and you do this, like for an hour to two hours and you're beginning, how are you going to have a bad day? This is so true. Like, come on. I mean, you might have a mediocre day, but it's not going to be horrible. This is so true. You know, it's going to be pretty good. You know, because it clears it. all the, it clears, well, it's like what I said about you were cutting the cords. Like, exactly. This cuts the cords. Exactly. And this is like the kryptonite, narc kryptonite. Oh, you can't use it. Yeah. yeah. You probably could can't use it. it. The kryptonite. Oh, sorry. Oh yeah. my God. I have, wow. Yeah. First of all, when I first came in here, mm -hmm. I did the cleaning the like for the for the the whole oh. remember in the book where yeah, he where they he cle he cleans the yeah. the the um, the the hall that they're going Sheila yeah. and then he says that her name is Sheila mm -hmm. oh my god we sound like crazy but it's like mm -hmm. it, you know you know what yeah. I'm talking about yeah 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 I read this book like I don't know probably 20 times now you're so. talking about the Joe Vitale one or like because yeah. have you seen the Dr. Hugh Lin interviews on YouTube of course yeah of like, course he's amazing <laughs> I mean, dude. <laughs> well, I could just hold it, I guess. All right. Yeah. So, I can't believe you. Know. Um, this is. I, I'm. I'm. Wow, so happy. I came yeah. Here. Yeah. Me too. God. It's wow. good. It's good to meet you. Wow. Like, and you and too. to like uh, experience somebody else who discovered that dude. That's gonna fall again. Who discovered that? Uh, through what what how did you discover it i got it as a present from my sister uh six years ago wow so you've known about it from the book for, she just for bought it to me six years you've been doing this yeah okay i've been doing it since the holidays since christmas this really? year really that's it okay so i'm wow. new man. i'm wow. new compared to you you're, wow. you're old school ho -pono -pono. i'm like this is so it, it works so magically. Okay, so then let me learn from you about it. So like when, because I don't do this cleaning thing. Like, what is this? Oh, okay. I, I, I have heard that though. I kind of know, but explain that. What is? How do okay. you do that? So th there, there are a lot of layers to this method because mm -hmm. I mean, I'm, th I'm still learning. By the way, right? I'm still learning, and every yeah. time I read the the book, yeah. I'm learning something new because then I realize something that I didn't realize back then. Uh huh. So basically when you when you enter to and a the like, book is called what um, no limits no limits yeah no limits yeah joe exactly. vitale just for exactly. the people yeah. yeah um so every time you go into a room or every time you meet new people or or that you're about to go exactly into the room. about to go to a room or to a meeting or to something that is important to you mm -hmm. so so you do the cleaning you do the the you like know before the, you played at rough trade did you do it would yes. you do it to a gig yes like and how do you do that so i'm going on stage yeah and first of all i need like some time alone because it's, it's exactly as ronnie said in the morning i'm i'm i get up early before everyone you know everyone's up because i need the the I need this time where everything's quiet and I can focus yeah. and pray and um, and when I get to when I got to rough trade the first thing I did was like f the, the four sentences you know I love you please forgive me because I'm cleaning myself mm -hmm. and then I'm cleaning myself and then everything else is like I don't know it it's always I feel such a high energy level of mm. of, of I don't know even how to call it but at Rough Trade, I felt that this show is going to be something else because something in the air was 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 purple. I don't know, yeah. you know. Purple is like the third eye chakra. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, but like when you say when you clear the air there, so that's what I do. do. You say I, it how many times? I'm it's just like, like getting into the mantra. Yeah, okay. I'm, I'm saying like it like how many minutes? Like I, until I feel um, until you feel until I feel uh, the, the the peace in my heart. Okay, and then I. I'm like when I talk to my band before before we go on stage, mm -hmm. and that's what we did before we we went on stage at yeah, Rough Jade. I was like, I told them that today I want us to focus. I wonder if you felt it, because I told them today I want us to focus as a band, yeah, and um, giving love to the audience, yeah, and just 
let's imagine that we're taking them into a spiritual journey in a tunnel where they forget where they are. That's amazing. That's what I told the band. Yeah. And they were like, wow, this is good. Okay, okay. And then when we got, got right off stage, you, huh? yeah, and they're with me because they know me, you know. Yeah. They know I'm like. You're like a shaman. <laughs> I get I get that a lot from yeah. people. Well, you, you are. I mean, you are. Who else does this? <laughs> like, come on. It's not, you know. Um, uh, you know, because I, it's, 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 it's about where you put your awareness right exactly it's powerful yeah and then it's really important for me and my band you know because i'm i'm like they they know me already and they know that i have all this you know um things in my mind and my my spirit and yeah and i i grab their hands and i'm like just be with me stay focused and the most important thing listen to each other because we have a tendency to, to listen to ourselves you know yeah. if we're playing guitar or singing or we we hear ourselves but yeah. if we listen to each other yeah instead of ourselves so it's going to be something like it's going to be together you know what i mean right and then they got off stage and every one of them told me that something very special was at this show yeah. and I felt it too yeah. and the audience felt it too because like, we get so many you know reactions from yeah. Yeah. from people that were there so is this like a more of a unique thing that you did before this show or do you usually I do, do it this? Every, before yeah. every show before every show yes before every That's show incredible. I do it I'm like I'm I'm taking them to um Every show it's like focusing on something else, but it's yeah. always giving love and not yeah. and not taking, you know? Yeah. And I always say to them, if we're getting love back, that's amazing, but yeah. this is not our goal. We're our here goal to, give to give love. love. Yes, yeah. that's it. And everything that happens like on top of this, it's like a bonus. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's great. Yeah. Yeah, that's thank you for sharing that. Thank you. And so when you're clearing and also when you're doing it, do you like when you're using the mantra, yeah. are you like visual <laughs> like envisioning other relationships or other like things or if like something's disturbing so you? So when I want to clean relationships yeah. with people that you know, um and you know, I really feel it when when I get nervous or when I when I'm pissed or mm. so it's like okay, stop, I'm saying to myself, you know, stop. Because our tendency as human beings is to like throw the blame on someone else. Mm -hmm. No, he did this and he did this and he's, a, he's a, the guilty. And, and then I'm just stopping everything. I'm like, okay, let's think about what you did. Mm -hmm. Let's take responsibility. And what I feel, like the minute I feel the pain or the anger, I start to clean. Mm. I, st I, I say the mantra. Right, and then something happens. You you, you can't un like it's, yeah. it's 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 clearing. It's like it's like you take the 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 sage and you clear the, the yeah. air. You know, so yeah. it's like sage to your soul. That's right. You know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. So that's great, man. I I I've had the same experience with it. It's definitely with like. Give me an example for how you you use it. Well, I apply it to like. To, like toxic or just difficult relationships yeah. in my life yeah. i've applied it to that to those and um and yeah just in a general way like i said i start my days with it so it's just a general sometimes i go to sleep with it you know like there's one i have one that's like goes on for eight hours i know, you know? this one you know that one <laughs> it's course. the girl, it's the weird freaky yeah. lady like i love you <laughs> <laughs> you know it's like kind of trippy yes. yeah like i like that one i like that yeah. one too there's she does a um like a healing mantra or she does like a whole healing one too that i've done sandra, a couple, sandra. you're talking about sandra i'm talking about sandra oh my Oh, man. Yeah. oh my god Sandra yeah okay so she's yeah. got a one that's what I wanted to talk yeah, to you about I like she's got one with a half hour of like uh, m meditation I've done that like a few times it's so powerful it's so powerful you listen with earphones yeah oh my U god usually. it's so intense yeah yeah it's usually intense. yeah it's amazing wow yeah she no it is really powerful yeah, yeah, that yeah. one yeah that yeah. like and it just like let go of like let go of everything like oh regrets or this thing that and the other and it's like suddenly like your creative spirit comes back you're exactly. not you're not limited you're not like you know, like you didn't even know you were blocked. Exactly. And then, but you, but because you did just did that healing meditation and you're unblocked, you're like, oh, I was blocked. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. And now I'm yes, not. Yes, I know exactly you know? what you mean. Yes, yeah. yes. 
We should uh, we should sing the Ho'oponopono when we're done with the podcast. Yeah. yeah. Man, it is. Uh, that's awesome. Wow. This is like. Here, put the mic more closer to your mouth. I'm um, Because yeah. I'm, I'm shocked. I'm, I'm shocked, really. This yeah. Is amazing. I'm shocked, too. <laughs> <You're>, <laughs> I can tell. <laughs> Man. This is crazy. Well, it's, yeah, it's Joe. It's, that's all he talks about. And it's, wow. it's nice to see somebody who feels I mean, I like, talk about a couple other yeah, things. Yeah, no, but I'm just but saying. But I talk about on, this on a lot. Me, too. Yeah, Me I've too. Never, I've Dude. never met anyone who. Who, who knew what he was talking about oh my god it's a whole it's a whole because people around me are like yeah 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 i love you Bruce. i'm like okay you don't want to hear that's that's fine i'm gonna clean yeah you. <laughs> so you but tell yeah. do you tell people about it a lot like yes. you, uh, and what's the reaction been well i'm not i'm, I'm trying not to to Preach like yeah, yeah 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 exactly but people who want want to hear it mm -hmm. it's like people who get curious about it yeah so i i can i can tell them a lot because they want to hear yeah but i'm not going to talk about it if there's like i i can feel the the, the energy the feels, yeah, yeah yeah and i'm not trying to convince anyone you yeah. know i'm just yeah. like but i i wanted to tell you about it that that you can use it as well if if for for example so y you have a conversation with your friend okay right. and he tells you about like how how um I don't know. He his relationship with his wife are so bad, or mm -hmm. like he he tells you like you know that he's in trouble. Right. So you know that this is your responsibility. Yeah. You know what I'm that's, talking about? Yeah, of course, that's of course what Doctor Hugh Lynn did. Of course. Okay. Like, so and then while he's talking to you, mm -hmm. telling you the story, you can take it as yours. Just problem. clean. Clean. Yeah. You say the four sentences while he's talking to you, yeah. and then you clean you through cleaning him yeah. and then you're both like your souls are like yeah. you're freeing him from the memory Poppy why haven't you cleaned me like all, <laughs> all the time I'm man. sorry it's like all the conversations please forgive me. Had, you thank you I love you I'm sorry please forgive me thank you pay you know this pay attention you know I love you I'm sorry please forgive me so thank sweet. you okay. that's so funny because like the other day we had some kind of snafu with the podcast and uh, Ehu just wrote me back like I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. And I said, and then I wrote back, I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you too. Because like, yeah, it is the whole thing of like, yeah, we are, it's just one consciousness. Exactly. And, it, and, and for the people out there that haven't like, you know, this will be a one-off podcast. It's like what Dr. Hugh Lin did was he healed a, a mental hospital for the criminally insane without ever vi like seeing an actual patient just by reviewing their files and then taking everything crazy. that entered into his field of consciousness as his responsibility. That means that he was like hearing. He was changing his perspective about the, this person or, you know, the, the mental, the, the, the people that were there. So instead of saying, oh, my God, he's terrible, he's crazy, he just changed his perspective. And this yeah. is how he healed them. Yeah. By saying the sentences, of course, but, but that's what you know it's all connected but I how think. do you think like because that part the way i always like say that part like with the, the fact that he healed these patients without seeing them just by taking on their situation as his responsibility yeah um i always say to people okay that's woo woo a little bit but if you uh, but imagine if that's even halfway true which it's documented to be true and i actually believe it's all the way true me too okay me too but imagine <laughs> if it's even i try to tell people that might be skeptical like um, imagine but it, it ima happened ima i mean you know it's yeah, like there it are did proofs that yeah so imagine what you can do with in your own life within your that's own what I'm i mean saying. that's what i say to people and i also say to people that are like resistant about anything woo woo yeah, or whatever yeah, 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 is yeah. i say look at it like it's a cheat code in the matrix it's a cheat code. It's, it's so just, true. It basically releases you from bullshit. This is so true. You know, if you want to like not be spiritual and woo woo about it, just consider it that. Consider it like you're getting a killer fucking new weapon. Excuse my French in the video game. This then. is yeah. Because yeah, that's yeah, what it yeah. is. It's badass. Yeah. And it works. It, <laughs> yeah. Like, like it works, man. It's like in-game purchases. I know it works. And it's people that have dealt with trauma. And, pe and so you must have, that must have, 
your experience must have been very traumatic for you to discover something like Ho'oponopono and take to it, it to the degree so that much. you have. Yes, because because I always say that, I mean, the, the core of my, my um, you know, the fact that I came from such a beautiful family, mm -hmm. um, brothers and sisters and my parents, and, and I think that kept my sanity, but, but then, you know, the more you you grow like inside yourself or or going through stuff and then it hits you you mm. know in like several ways that you don't even understand what and hits you like the the traumas the like traumas. yeah and the fact that you weren't aware of it you right, know yeah. because it's suddenly yeah. like it's like it's like a, a um, sleeping demon or something. <laughs> I don't know, you know. I don't know how to mm. call it, but like you feel it in like the day to day life, and then you say, "Okay, I need to like um, do something about it." <laughs> and then this book just came to me from my sister, and it changed my the way I think about things and people, and and you know. And I'm taking responsibility. That's why I think I'm like more. Um, I don't know if to say calm, but more, y y you will have to get a lot to like, you know. To um, really upset uh, you. Yeah, 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 to, to, to take me out of my center. I think the, I think the universe, God, whatever you want to call it, it, really digs it when people take responsibility. Yes. I think that whatever it is yeah. just digs it when yeah. you take responsibility. I think so too. It's just like, you know what? High five. Because <laughs> like, so many people out here are not taking responsibility. Yeah. So when any one of us steps up and says, you know what? Everything in my field of consciousness is on me. Then the universe it's says, really you know what? It's really hard to capture it, you know? It's hard. <laughs> and, and for me also, I'm like, yeah. I'm trying to, because when you're, when you're pissed, Mm -hmm. You have the tendency to forget about and like yeah. you know and like just just well you can't relish in that kind of anger anymore that kind of like dumb rage is harder to justify when you know this secret or yes, when you know exactly. this thing like exactly. it's like it's kind of like harder for you to like back your But that's own. why you have to practice all like mm -hmm. all the time. How it's, often do you practice it? I'm always I'm aware of it so it's here in my mind always you know yeah. and and even when you know I don't know when someone like says something and I'm like I'm like I feel like the like a fire in my you know like uh -huh. I'm, I'm and then I'm I'm like okay stop that's what I told you earlier I'm like stopping the 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 the, the I don't know the stream of like thoughts of like I really want to kill this person right now mm -hmm. but I'm, I'm like okay think breathe mm -hmm. and then I do the the open 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 and then like yeah. sometimes it takes time you yeah, know for course. me to to calm yeah. to calm down but um but it's working always mm -hmm. all the time yeah, yeah for sure how did your family take your fame in the beginning like how did it affect them because you have a big family yeah. i'm sure paparazzi were after them as well and there's a oh, lot yeah. of stress in the family oh yeah well um i have two sweet parents that they were they're so naive and they're so not from this world, you know? So they were always like, t you know, smiling. So the first four years after I, I won the, uh -huh. this. Um, Idol. Yeah. We, I'm from the south of Israel. Uh, so it's like, uh, it's really, it's next to Be'er Sheva, Kiryat Gat. So the first four years we had constantly, and I'm not kidding, every day, someone someone like in plural and like you know came to our my parents house every day yeah. because they had to tell them something about me mm -hmm. they had to bring something to me so four years my mom would like our house was open mm. like it was like Aliyah la Regel, like mecca <laughs> i'm not kidding i'm not kidding i swear it, it and was like Graceland is what she's describing. Mm. People would just show up. It was up. crazy. Yeah. Like people just came to my parents' house mm. to talk to them about me mm -hmm. and to tell them how much they love me well, and to bring me like gifts. Nice and for your parents. 
<laughs> my parents were like they did, and they my mom she's very uh, she was no? she's very open hearted you know and she's yeah. like yeah yeah come on she, uh, you, would you like some tea would you like some coffee would you like some cookies and and she's cooking and she's like constantly like you know it was so funny because our house was always full of people like mm. just coming coming from the south from the north from you know everywhere in Israel and just like just coming to to and they wanted to see me and they wanted to talk to me and they and that like four years, day after day. What's Crazy. it? What's it like now? Like now, has it evened out into like you have a decent fan base there, or what's how? How yeah. is it equaled out? Or um, well, now I think they're more. I mean, I have all kinds of you know, uh, like I have. Uh, it's still a bit wild. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it goes all over the place a little. Yes. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> yeah, it's not. It's never you can't ending. Can't pull a pun, a pun it all the way out. <laughs> no, but I look at it differently. Right. You know. Yeah. Because if you were to talk to me like I don't know six years, six years ago, I would probably the whole conversation was like right. a whole Bitter different more. one. Yeah. But yeah. now it's like. Yeah. I have a lot of compassion, you know, and I'm like, yeah. I'm, I understand everything. I understand. Well, I, I understand. felt the graciousness that you had. Uh, at your rough trade show, I did really. Yeah. How? What? What do you mean? I don't know. I just did. I just felt it with like your energy, I guess, and things that you said, and your you were appreciative, and uh, yeah, just I could this tell. This is great. Yeah, because I am. I'm very grateful. So you know, if you're, that's your energy. Then it seems like yeah, you have a grateful energy because that that's what I feel. Yeah. Really, that's I'm like not taking nothing as a like as something like for granted Not you know what i mean yeah, yeah 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 so yeah, um sure. so I, I just i'm just curious well, about one cards. other thing you have cards? So, did, yeah. yeah did <laughs> did all that fame was that the stepping stone to leave israel and move to the u.s and try to make it well i I was dreaming about the U.S., like to live in New York, actually, not in L.A. I think you got to move to New York. I think so, too. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. think so, too. It's yeah, going to happen. Sure. I think so, too. It's going to happen. You seem like a New Yorker. I am. Yeah. So L.A., I, I, it was like uh, really, for me, it was like big no-no, but then we, we moved there. I mean, I like L.A. Just now. You, you moved there because of the winters. The winters aren't that bad here. And you can always just like go to Todos Santos in the winter. <laughs> no, That's what I do. okay, no, but I, I need to pick one. Yeah. yeah. They're just questions. All right. One. Yeah. Da 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 da. What's your say? Oh, this what? would be a good one for her. Well, what is it? <laughs> what? You want to oh. switch? Yes. Oh, you don't like yours. <laughs> no, I, I mean, it's cool, I but... Ne I never like mine. Ooh, wow. Uh. I don't even know. Oh, that's wow. A, that's a good one for you. <laughs> what, yeah. what does it no, say? No, but this is a good one as well. Uh, I can well, answer yeah. both. Okay. Answer both. Well, what are, yeah. So read it. Read it, and I read this, uh, and then... Yeah. Um, share one positive characteristic about each person in this group. Oh, my God. That's a, <laughs> that's a good one. Yeah, what did good, you have? It's a good one, but it's a lot of pressure. Yeah. Like, <laughs> you know, it's like a little... <laughs> Actually, you're both so... You're, you're, it's, it's so nice to, to talk to you. Nice, it's like an understatement. It was such a great time for me to be here. Yeah. Really. Well, when have I ever Man, invited we, you to we, do something? That we we love no, I I'm so happy you invited me. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. When she came in in Hebrew, she said, tell me what's about to happen here. And I was like, ah, don't worry about it. It's like, yeah, there's nothing like, to say. I'm like going it? into unknown. Yeah. yeah, but. Yeah. Well, the feeling is very mutual. Yeah. I'm so and happy. And you have a fantastic shirt, too. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody commented that on your Pace performance. So oh, really? Yeah. Oh, great. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I bought it. I, I'm I keep re wearing this shirt it's, for like. It's great. I love it. It's my uniform. Yeah. I love this one. What do you have? Okay, mine is, how do you love? Wow. How do you love? How do you love? That's a What good. are those cards? Uh, they're just called... He just bought them yesterday. Really? <laughs> yeah. yeah, they're called Actually Curious. It's, <laughs> we it's usually, amazing. We usually have decks but and we have a helium balloon and you take some helium <laughs> and then you read your question. <laughs> okay. but how do you love sounds like a song. It's like amazing. A, it's a good it's a chorus. Good one. Like, I guess I love... How do I love? I love by trying to like... Wow, that's yeah, like really by trying to one. give what I 
what helps me in my life to others. That's a good one. You I know? I love it. Yes. I mean, that seems to be... I love it. How do you love? How do I love? Mm hmm Hmm. I think it's kind of the same answer that you said. Mm hmm And it's like... Well, I mean... It's like thinking about giving, but giving without any, um, like, without saying it's giving. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, like, I don't know. It's, yeah. it's weird. I because love if this question. It's, if you say it's giving, then all of a sudden it's like you're, you, you need some kind of payment. Exactly. Even. It's <laughs> like, it's like to, to be with like open heart and, I guess to care, to care about, to care for someone. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, I can show it by making a really, really cool sandwich toast. Yeah. Like <laughs> with peanut butter and banana and jelly. That sounds good. <laughs> yes. <laughs> this is how I love peanut butter, yeah. banana and jelly. Oh, yeah. Food, yeah. Food yeah. Is, uh, oh, yeah. That's a good one. I always tell Carmen, my daughter, um, I think she's almost the same age as your daughter that when I make something for Carmen, this was made with love. Exactly. Yeah. That's nice. Exactly. And that's how it's better than anything. Exactly. And that's why yeah. it's so tasty. Yeah. Yes. Regardless of what it is. Exactly. That's my mom. My mom always said that. Um, What's that one say? What is something that triggers fear in you? And how does your body respond to fear? Oh, my God. <laughs> it's the perfect question yes. for me. <laughs> so I feel everything in my body. My uh -huh. body speaks to me before I know I'm speaking to me. Oh, really? Yes. How's that? So I don't know. It's just all connected really, really strongly, like, you know? And what is something that triggers fear? Um, um, so first of all, I, I feel it in my body and my stomach. Like, okay, your stomach, yeah. Yeah, like yeah, if, yeah. If you're around somebody who's toxic. Yeah, or yeah, this yeah. Or that, my stomach, like, immediately is just like, boom. Like, I, right. and, and I want to throw up. Yeah. It's like, and it's here. It's wow. here and here. And um, I guess it's, it's, it's everything that happens here in my head. Mm -hmm. So if I say something to myself that it's, even, even if it's not real, like, I can scare myself a lot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. I think I'm the most scary thing ever right. <laughs> to, my, to myself. <laughs> I right. don't know. Because sometimes you have thoughts that you can't control. Uh -huh. And it's, and you know, you go into this loop of like self-destructive mind. Yeah. And you go into dark, dark places. Yeah. And, you know, I just starting to feel my heart like beating fast. Like, and everything happens here. Mm -hmm. Nothing on the outside. You right. know what I mean? So that's the most scary thing. I think thoughts. Yeah. Yeah. They alar they're my alarm bell to go into Ho'oponopono. Exactly. You know? Exactly. Yeah. I feel that happens to me a lot just ever since I had, uh, again, my daughter. Yeah. Is that you have those those bad oh thoughts. Oh, my about God. When you have kids, oh, my God. It's like, oh, we so just lost the light. Something can happen. Um, yeah, you just have this terrible fear that something terrible is going to happen and you just have to stop thinking about it because mm. it'll just drive you crazy. It's like, what right. if this happens? What oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's what like, if? It's, it's the, the what one if. Downfall, what if is the most... The one downfall most of having kids are those Exactly. Thoughts. What ifs happen without kids, though, too. But, man, when you have kids... I know. It's right. probably brutal. Uh, more oh, yeah. brutal. Oh, yeah. yeah. Brutal. Oh, it yeah. Brutal. Yeah, that's true. Because life is so fragile. It's like... So do you, you said something about like your feel everything in your body. Do you do yeah. like a physical like regimen or something like that? Like running, yoga, I know yoga. you do yoga. Yoga, Pilates and uh, oh. yeah, yoga and Pilates. That's what I do. I do you do love it, it. Yeah. I love Pilates too. Oh, this is great. I just started like a long time ago, well, like, like whatever, a few months ago, but I haven't continued. I was, when I was in Mexico, I was doing Pilates. This is so great. I'm doing hot Pilates actually. Yeah, that's wild. 
It's That's so. Like hardcore. Oh my God. Uh, Pilates is hardcore. Pilates is hardcore. That's it right. It is, man. And always when I see boys, uh -huh. like men, men, it's so funny. I'm sorry because you guys are. I mean, not in a bad way. Joseph really. Pilates. He was the guy <laughs> that invented yes, it. Yes, I know. Joseph. <laughs> yes. <laughs> There's that picture of him on the Pilates yeah, yeah, machine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But you know, <laughs> I mean, in LA, I do it on a like a class. It's like on a mat, uh -huh. and it's um. It's so intense. They have Pilates at Fierce Grace too. They have hot Pilates. Yeah. Yeah, but it's yeah, just on a mat. They don't have the machines. There. Wait, it's it's uh it's in it's in L.A. The, no, no, it's the uh, Fierce Grace is here lower, in New York, okay. Lower East Side. I'll okay. tell you about that one. I'll show or I'll uh, send you the info on that. Please one. do. Yeah, and then in L.A. there's Urban Exhale. That's a good hot. Urban yoga. Exhale. Okay, that's, that's what you told me about L.A. No, yeah, so I want you to send me the the the. The, Fierce Grace. Yeah, 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 please. How long are you in New York for? Until uh, we're starting a tour with the zombies on Monday. Oh, right. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. That'll be great. Rock yes. And roll Hall of Fame. Yes. Inductees. Yes. Yeah. How That's did amazing. that happen? Um, well, it's a long story. Well, we don't have G to go. Give us the short version. We don't have to go into that. They saw a video of mine. <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong. Or it started, it started like... So they reached out. It started... That's amazing. Lots of, lots of mutual friends and, and, and they just... Yeah, lots of pe people that connecting... Yeah, I've, I met them four years ago here in New York randomly, like through my PR, uh, PR woman. She's, she's great. And then she introduced me to them. And then we were just like, okay, bye. Yeah. And then now I'm back in New York to have a tour with them. How long is that Isn't tour? this fucking incredible? Yeah. yeah. It's uh, we have five shows together. Oh, okay. Yeah. Where, where are you playing in New York? Are you playing in New York? Not with them. Not no, with I them. just had a just the rough trade. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So okay, but we probably should wrap it up because it's been going on for a long time. I feel like. Eighty minutes. Oh really? Yeah. Well, anyway, I wanted. To Eighty add, minutes. Yeah, it's My a long. Goodness. Time. Yeah. It goes wow. On. Yeah. Um, but so, I wanted to ask you about your Netflix show though, real quick too. When Heroes Fly. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty incredible that you're that you got a Netflix show and everything. Yeah, it's like it's that. incredible. Yeah. That's, that's 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 pretty awesome. awesome. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. He said it was good. I haven't seen it. Did but you see it, Edwin? He he watched the whole thing. I, again, I'm I'm He's disconnected from Israel, but yeah. I I visited <laughs> I visited, um, I went to Israel for three days in January just to see some friends. Yeah. And on the flight back, I flew El Al, and like the TV thing wasn't working. It was like an old plane, and they gave me an iPad. Yeah. And then I and then I, I saw the sh like I think it was a photo of you maybe and some yeah. one of the other dudes, yeah. and I saw the show. And I watched the whole thing beginning to end on that flight. It was oh really God. good. Wow. Yeah. I was like, this is high quality. It was like, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, was, it was, you know, top notch. And this then when I got back, I saw it was on Netflix. Yeah. I was like, yeah. wow. Yeah. What do, you, what do you think about, you liked it? Uh, I, I loved, loved all it. the actors. Yeah. I don't know any of them. They're great. Uh, and it was just amazing to see so many young actors yeah. on that level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the production and, and the location. This series it, is it really, was so, it, was it was something else. else yeah, it was yeah. something else. Yeah. And I, I recommend it to people. But yeah. yeah it in really Israel, was. it got a, it was like an explosion of like well, people. Well, there's a reason for that. Yeah. yeah Everyone yeah. in it is good. And the writing is good. And, yeah. And it's just like it's up there with any other thriller on Netflix. Exactly. People How do you compare acting with music? like in terms of like the skill set or what you know how to me it it's another you? form of art you yeah. know just to like express myself and mm. i and i love it mm -hmm. i really love it but it has to be so specific and so accurate to me that's why the story of yaeli the the character that i'm that i'm playing there uh it was so the story like of her and and uh the love story that was there and you know it's also this this series is um dealing with like ptsd uh wow. soldiers yeah yeah it's really so you heavy were relating to it yeah all you know yeah. <laughs> it's all related i told yeah. you so oh, yeah, i was i was playing the girlfriend of someone who has it who was in a war 
playing uh, the girlfriend of someone who has PTSD. Yes, okay. yes, who dealt with it, and oh, it was so powerful. Because he's also he's an amazing actor, mm -hmm. and he was so. What's his name? Tomer. Tomer. His name is Tomer Capone. Okay. He's actually he's got got a series now in uh, Amazon Prime. Oh, okay. He's such an amazing uh, actor and and What's that soul and. Called? Uh, the boys. The boys. Yeah. Oh, he's in the boys. He's in the boys. Oh, that's like a superhero. It's uh, a superhero. Okay. It's it's a really Good for yeah. Him. yeah yeah yeah. I heard about that. I yeah. watch self help YouTube clips. <laughs> I don't know. Anything, <laughs> but, but, but so okay, cool. So like uh, so it was like the universe brought you more of a like here. Check out this storyline. Check out this story from this side. From this side. Yes. What did yes. that teach you? First of all, I got so many messages, like text messages, and like on Instagram and Facebook from from soldiers, survivors. Yeah, from survivors, exactly. That that they told me as a, as as me, yeah, how the 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 series and the you know the the relationship that I had with uh, with Aviv, that's the one that Tom uh, is playing there. Mm -hmm. How it like b brought them back to the to the battlefield or like you yeah. know to their it was so intense because people in israel they they didn't they didn't talk about it about like you Listen, know and and yeah. the those people the survivors they're living among us and it's like no one talks about it right yeah. and then after the series after it was on air so you started a conversation wow everyone in israel were like and you know uh, a lot of um 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 god i forgot the word Amuta, Amutot. Uh, foundation. Yes. So there were like... Translator over here. Thank you. Thank you. Ahud. Thank you, Ewood. <laughs> I really appreciate it. Um, Couldn't do it without Suddenly, you. like, they were like so full, like people just starting to call them because they, they needed help. Really? So this series was like the That's trigger amazing. for... Yeah, yeah. It was like really, really powerful. That is powerful. And does yeah. this make you want to do th something like make YouTube videos where you're telling your story or somehow sharing these kind of healing situations or like, cause I, I I'm asking that cause I'm motivated in that way. And I actually do do that on Instagram. Yeah. So, I mean, I know. do share, I do yeah. share. I mean, if you, now that you're following me, yeah, I'm going to follow. I'm you'll following. get, you'll get to see it. Oh, okay, good. Um, and yeah. You, like, speak to the camera and talk about, no, stuff, it's or? not, it's not like that. I do yeah. it in a more, um, um, not that direct yeah. way, you know? Subtly. I just do it, yeah, I just do it like... Yeah, you just do it. Well, like, you've done it here today with us. I'm so happy. Yeah. I'm so happy I had the chance, really. I'm really happy, too. Thank you. Yeah, thank you for coming on. Thank you. I'm so happy I It's been I wonderful to meet you. You, too. Yeah. I think we should sing Ho'oponopono. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really? Uh, yeah. And, yeah, I uh, have a... Uh, before the... Because Joe has but, a... I have a Ho'oponopono yeah. song. Um... Oh my goodness. We can sing it together. Let's do it. It's, e it's really easy. And we'll end but on the song, but before the song, sh you should say where people can follow you and uh, what's next for you online. What's next for me? That's, that's a good question. Only God knows. Um, but, but they can follow me on Instagram. And your website. And the website. And the, uh, yeah. Ninet you type. Tell them what you're... Tell them, com? tell them what your Instagram handle is. It's uh, n.tayeb. N. Tayeb. Can yeah. I play this for a second? Of course. N. Tayeb. Yeah. Did you also want to play a song? One yeah. of your I can play Self Destructive Mind. Oh, that would yeah, be, that'd be awesome. Of yeah. course, my pleasure. All right, so we'll just do a little of this then into some Self Destructive Mind. <laughs> I love you, I'm sorry. Please forgive me, thank you. I love you, I'm sorry. Please forgive me, thank you. I love it. I love you, I'm sorry. Please forgive me, thank you. I love you, I'm sorry. Please forgive me, thank you. I love you, I'm sorry. Please forgive me, thank you. I'm doing a B vocal. Yeah. <laughs> I love you, I'm sorry. Please forgive me, thank you. <laughs> I love you, I'm sorry. It's like uh, uh, Johnny uh, Cash. Thank you. The Johnny Cash <laughs> version of Open Up yeah, or No. <laughs> exactly. I love you. 
I'm sorry. Please forgive me, thank you. I love you. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Please forgive me and thank you. I like <laughs> it. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me, thank you. Good job, Joe. <laughs> Thank you, man. Thank you. That's a nice guitar. Right? Is that a Fender? Fender, yeah. I got a Fender. I just got an Acoustasonic from them. Acoustasonic. Yeah, the uh, one that looks like an electric, but it's an yeah, acoustic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love it. It's the new one, the right? The new one, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> I told you about it. Yeah, it's really good. Uh, yes. I know the guy at Fender. I can, I can hook you up with a contact there. In New York? No, well, he's at, they're in L.A. actually. Jason? Jason. Ethan. Ethan. Oh, Ethan Kaplan, you know him? Yeah. Sweetheart. I work with Jason, actually. Oh, okay. I do jiu-jitsu with Jason, actually. You do? Where do you do jiu-jitsu? Uh, Planet 10? Eddie, no, Eddie Bravo's guy. place? I'm not a Planet guy. Oh, 10 Planet. I want to start jiu-jitsu. I box. I'm boxing later today. Self-destructive mind. Is it available on... Uh, yes, everywhere. everywhere. You're so sweet, Eud. Thank you. He I don't is, do he, that. He is rather sweet. No, really. <laughs> <laughs> he is. No, <laughs> 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 All right. <laughs> Times are changing And do you have a friend or someone to talk to? You keep it all to yourself You keep it all to yourself Destructive mind
so good. Nice. Man, <laughs> what a great voice you have. Thank you. Wow. Thank you. Man, <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you, guys. What an honor to have you here. Wow. Thank really you appreciate so much. you. It was and amazing. Great to meet you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Wow. Hi, this is Joseph Arthur. Thanks for checking out Come to Where I'm From. Please support us on Patreon, patreon.com slash come to where I'm from. We are an independent podcast and any contributions you can make are greatly appreciated.